up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Optiponymous coming with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Power of the Primes, Throne of Primes, which was first available at the 2018 San Diego Comic Con. Now, what makes this special is in addition to the throne, you also do get a repainted version of that leader class Optimal Optimus, repainting that larger figure to look more like Optimus Primal. For the package, you got that really nice Transformers text, the Generation logo, you got the Power of the Primes, Throne of Primes, and then you got that really nice open window that shows Optimus actually sitting on the throne. You come around to the top, you can see you got the uh, Maximal logo there, you got some vines and everything that kind of carries over here as well. The side here has Power of the Primes. On the opposite side here, you get the Halo of Primus, which you can kind of see in the back there. What that does is it holds 12 Prime Masters. When the circle is complete, the powers of Primus are united as one, but that power is too great for any mortal, even the chosen Matrix Bearer to wield at once. The Scepter of Sparks was created to hold and combine the power of the Primes so that its wielder can carry them forth into battle and bring light to the darkest hour. Now, while this holds uh, 12 Prime Masters, that uh, Scepter of Sparks, which you can see him holding right there, only holds four of them. So I don't understand how this whole thing like combines the power and then you, you have four of them in the scepter that's kind of strange but you can see you can collect all prime masters which are each sold separately you got uh, megatronus vector prime alchemist prime quintus prime solus onyx prime which is exclusively available as far as i know with the predacon set liege maximo micronus and alpha trion and then when you come around here to the back you get gorgeous art here showing up primal holding that scepter of spark high above his head you can see that he is wearing a crown which they don't really go into why he has a crown or anything but you can see the different prime masters kind of floating around you got the throne right there overall really very very nice packaging and displays really well here now this is actually the second figure that I bought now the first one I did a live unboxing and I basically destroyed the package because I didn't have scissors to cut anything so I picked this up and I've actually already sold it because I really only I want one but that viewer was nice enough to say that I can actually open this and show you him sitting in this and show you the halo of Primus so without further ado let's get this guy out here and take a look at the throne of primes as well as optimal optimus or optimus primal whatever you want to call them okay so here we have the throne of the primes and uh, in addition to that you do get the instructions which are really nice there's actually some color thrown in there which is really kind of surprising uh, you can see it in the uh, the main bot you got the optimal optimus and then all the different uh, modes and things like that you come around here to the back section and it shows all of the uh, prime masters uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh and then you can kind of see right on there the 13th prime which uh, as i talked about kind of is hinted as being optimus prime uh, and then you got the the four prime masters that this come with prima nexus amalgamus and the 13th and then how to transform it and how to actually attach it to the scepter of sparks and i'll show all that here in a bit but uh here it is and i do want to give a huge shout out to ross who as i said this is his figure and he gave me permission to open it up uh, i did kind of cut the little tie thing right here and along there but as you can see the the display is really nice this piece here can actually be atta uh, detached as well it's just a background but you can see you got that nice kind of artistic drawing in there i probably if i were to display this i probably wouldn't remove that and just kind of keep the throne the throne itself looks really very nice you got different autobots here like uh, that looks like hound that looks i don't know that kind of looks like optimus prime uh let's see that looks like Megatron. It's kind of hard to see who that is there behind the little plastic piece right there. I'm not going to completely open this because I don't want to uh, destroy it or anything. Uh, but you got a couple other 
spots here along the side. That's obviously Shockwave. That looks like it's RC up there. Uh, but really very nice. Uh, good paint detail. Well, not paint detail, but printed on detail throughout the uh, entire thing. And then the back section here is that Halo of Primus. Um, now, the thing that kind of sucks is it's just uh, this cardboard in plastic piece. Uh, it rotates. I mean, you, you can hear like a little um, kind of ratcheting sort of thing. Um, I don't know necessarily how how much I like that. I wish that the whole thing was done a little bit better, especially since this is like a repainted figure. Yes, we do get four additional you know, Prime Masters. We get a uh, little crown that's uh, kind of, oh uh, yeah, that's kind of rubber band on there. Uh, but I, I would have liked it if, if this was a little bit more durable. Uh, this is this is cool, and you, you got the additional Prime Masters there. Like I said, the 13th Prime is right there already in the Scepter. Uh, I'll show that off closer here when I uh, bring out my copy, but you got uh, the other Prime Masters right inside there, and I'm going to put all these in here for you. So here's... This guy, I'm not, I'm not, I don't remember the name, but we got, I think that's Vector Prime. Uh, this one here has uh, Megatronus, so we'll put him in there. And then we have uh, Alpha Trion, put that in there. The next one, uh, we have uh, Micronus, put him in. We got Liege Maximo there. Uh, this one here is Onyx Prime. I don't have Onyx Prime yet. I don't have the Predaking set, so unfortunately I can't add that one. Uh, here we have Solus Prime right there. Uh, we have uh, Nexus Prime here, and then here we have Amalgamous Prime. Here we have Quintus, and finally we have Alchemist Prime. And uh, here is that entire kind of collection on there, the Halo of Primes, which is pretty cool. I, I, I do like that. Like I said, I do wish that it was a little bit more substantial than just uh, like plastic kind of shelling like uh, the, the rest here. You know, when you're holding a figure in, that's kind of like what this is. It's just basically like clamshell plastic right there. And then you got the 13th Prime right there. Oh, he also, he also does come with the collector card. I forgot that. It's got that same art there. And then on the back, it says Optimal Optimus. The Matrix of Leadership chooses Optimus Primal to be its next bearer. With the increased strength and wisdom bestowed upon him by the Matrix, Optimus Primal evolves to Optimal Optimus and leads Cybertron into a new era. So just like all the uh, Power of the Prime figures, you do get that. This is a nice display, though. Don't get me wrong. And it kind of goes along with what they're doing in the new Prime Wars cartoon. So it fits, but uh, uh, I, I just feel like the, the packaging and everything, like I, I wish this was a little bit more substantial. That's the only knock against it. The art looks terrific. You know, the shape and everything is really very nice. I just, and, and I love the concept uh, of the, this in, entire thing. I just wish there was a little bit more substance behind it. But now I'm gonna bring in my optimal optimist we're going to take a look at all of it including the new prime masters and here we have them and you know while i really did like that optimal optimist figure i definitely prefer optimus primal as a character more than optimal optimus and i feel like repainting that optimal optimus to more look like optimus primal works a little bit better especially uh, when you come around and you look at the backpack at least this now kind of blends in with everything else and it just in my opinion looks better it still is a big giant you know, bot on his back but it looks pretty darn cool now starting off first with uh, the new additions uh, first let's see you do get the crown here uh, I have no idea what this crown is uh, supposed to represent. Uh, I did not really get into that uh, Machinima Prime Wars series, uh, so I don't know if this comes into it, but it looks pretty darn cool if you ask me. You got some nice paint applications add there with like the uh, purple, green, a little red bit right there. You got a nice red Maximo logo there in the center. You got a little blue bit there. The rest of it is done in this really nice gold paint, which 
Uh, as I said, I mean, it looks good. I have no idea what it's in reference to. I mean, this might work pretty good on Grimlock, for all I know. I mean, it looks pretty decent. Uh, and then, as you can see, it just fits on his head perfectly fine. Obviously, the rest of the figure is identical, so it'll fit on that Optimal Optimus head as well. And I'll bring that in there, but... Uh, taking a look at the rest again, real nice paint for the uh, head. Again, it's more done to look like the Optimus Primal. The uh, gray is a much darker gray, which looks really very good. Let's get the scepter out of here. Uh, you have the Matrix of Leadership, which you can still take out. Uh, this is the exact same. Uh, well, not the exact same. Uh, the, the paint is different, obviously. It looks a little bit more like the actual matrix uh one thing i'll say though is it's not really orange uh it's, it's kind of kind of red well it's not really red either i mean like this right here is red and you can kind of see that the color i don't know actually the color is pretty darn close uh this has a little bit brighter of a tone but eh, i don't know i mean it looks fine and you can still take this put this right in there and now you have uh, the matrix of leadership a lot of nice uh, paint applications on here though like i said you got the darker gray you do still have a lot of stickers uh, you got the little maximal sticker stickers right here uh, the little stickers right there um one thing that's nice is this section right here has been now painted white which is really good and then you got little stickers down here uh, his guns he still comes with those uh, they're a little bit better looking in terms of the color with some nice silver paint and then gray kind of breaks things up and then you got the little chrome sticker there on the side uh, same thing on the other one again i'll do a comparison here late in a little bit but uh nice paint detail on there overall really good uh paint applications on this guy i'm really happy with it let me uh take this apart uh, and then let's bring in the, the the little monkey head i mean that's not really anything overly different let me kind of you gotta rotate that around and then bring that, I and mean, you can see that that's basically just uh, that dark gray and then the uh, light gray right there. So, I mean, not much of a difference there. I'm not going to overly focus on a lot of his uh, other modes, but uh, I do want to show this guy here because I'm going to bring, obviously, that version of uh, Optimal or Optimus Primal out here. So, collapse this. Well, let's see. Now that all, I think that all just collapses. Yeah kind of pegs in there this is going to transform the exact same all of that stuff is identical the transformation is the exact same hold this bit up like that and then this collapses along his back like so and uh, here is that just regular now, Optimus Primal figure again, really, really nice looking. You got a sticker there, some nice paint detail, a little bit darker of a color, obviously. But I mean, in, in general, it, it's really nice. Now, let me bring in the uh, previous version, which it, it's just a regular mass release version. But here he is. That's uh, obviously what you have. And uh, let's take a look at this guy first detach him i mean yeah there's a little bit more paint i mean it's not all that different but uh, you got the little silver and everything so i'm just gonna set that there let's transform this dude uh to be totally honest i kind of like the color on uh the regular retail version uh, a little bit better uh it's a uh, nice silver paint right there let me rotate this collapse this up and then hinge this whole little bit this is pain in the buttocks there we go put that in there like so pull this pull out his head the head basically looks the exact same too so the only thing really that you get different is the silver on his uh, chest here so taking a look at this uh, this is a little bit lighter of a color than this I think that I, I do think that the retail version looks a little bit better uh, I like the silver on the crotch this is just I mean, it's not bad or anything, uh, but I think that the, the silver just really pops. Uh, the head sculpt, uh, in terms of the paint on that, looks identical. Uh, I, I, I probably could just swap out the hips. I don't know if that can detach. I don't know. I mean, uh, I know I could probably swap this out. Now, oh, that's pinned in there, so that would be a little bit more difficult. But 
I definitely think that uh, the retail version here looks uh, a little bit better. Uh, now, for the, the rest of the body, you do see a lot of painted differences. Uh, as I said, the gray is a much darker color. Uh, co as I said, there are a couple different st stickers, like these are a little bit different than these ones, but uh, the little Maximal logos are the same. Obviously, this chest bit here is a, a gray piece, which is a much lighter. Same with the thighs. The hands are different colors. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's just a matter of making Optimal Optimus look more like Optimus Primal in, in the big mode. So it, it, it's kind of a personal preference, honestly, but I do like the way that this guy looks a heck of a lot more. But this is still a really good figure. And then, like I said, you can take that on there and put that. It looks a little bit weird uh, because he's got some orange in there. But, I mean, that's, uh, you know, personal preference, really. But it does look good. Uh, but like I was saying, when you come around to look at the back, uh, just with, with the purple, the orange, the lighter gray, uh, the little blue bits right there, it does kind of make this back section stick out uh, like a sore thumb. Uh, I, I think that the colors obviously match here a lot better. Uh, but it's just a matter of personal preference in terms of which uh, version of the character you like. I, I like Optimus Primal more. So, I mean, I know that this guy's look is based off of this and everything, but I just like the color scheme a little bit more. Uh, and then taking a look at the uh, scepter itself, as you can see, I have the four new Prime Masters already attached to it. Uh, taking a look at this as a whole, I mean, really nice. Uh, you can see a very nice gold color. You got some little silver accents and then little red bits uh, there on the different tips. And then you can see that they just plug in there. You, you pull them out just like so. And then you got little holes right there that they put their feet into. So uh, taking a look, uh, this is Prima. And then coming in to take a closer look, uh, I'm not 100% certain if there's reused parts on this, but I think it still looks really good. You can see a little lighter gray for the arms and a little bit darker gray for the thighs. You got some nice light blue. Uh, one thing that's worth noting is when I got this out of the package, all of the Prime Masters with this set, their heads were reversed like that. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So you rotate it around, and you can actually see uh, some nice paint on the face of Prime right there. A little bit metallic blue, which looks really good, and then the transformation is identical. Just fold them up just like that, and you got that nice logo. You can see that the back section has a real nice silver paint, and then some gray and light blue there on the center overall really very very sharp and then again uh, you just come around here and rotate that around you would put this it's a little bit tricky kind of put the feet in there first and then kind of use uh, the hinge here to kind of position it up like that and then just push it up and in just like that taking a look at nexus prime same kind of way to get it out of there kind of just angle and pull it back and then pull the head out uh, you got a nice paint detail on this guy as well you got that gray in terms of a lighter and darker bit for the uh, arms and then the thighs a little bit of an orangish color you got a little kind of gunmetal gray paint there uh, for the face almost looks like the head is also painted that looks really good and then you fold him up and you got that logo again you got a little copper uh, kind of metallic copper color around there and then some yellow and gray on the inside kind of looks like a face doesn't it kind of sort of does then again you just bring that in and lock that in just like so so getting prime out of there because there's one aspect about this that i want to show and then taking a look at amalgamous prime uh, basically the same kind of thing you've got the two colors here for the arms and the uh, the thighs that that looks a little bit more on par with kind of the color matching than the other ones did got a little bit of paint detail on the face which looks really good fold him up and that's the logo it's a little bit harder to see there because uh, the rest of it has this kind of i guess i mean there's a little bit of a, like a metallic color sort of in it and then you got yellow for that so i mean it kind of blends in a little bit so it's a little bit harder to see and then you can see the outline has a little bit darker of uh, coloring so it looks pretty good but amalgamous is kind of a, a a bright one so it kind of looks more like a blob now this is the 13th 
Uh, now this one I'm actually really very impressed with. Uh, you can see a lot of nice additional color here. You got yellow for the arms. The arms match uh, the back plate, but you got some nice silver on the thighs. You got blue for the uh, the body, and then again, really nice. I don't know how uh, if it'll oh, it kind of focuses. Some really nice silver paint on the inside. There are a lot of extra detail in this, but you can even see that. The arms are painted. Uh, that has a nice glossy paint to it, really very sharp. And what's even more impressive is they painted the hands. You can see silver, none of the other ones. There, there's not been one that I can remember that has the hands painted. I mean, that's really impressive. And then his little logo is that, uh, again, I, I, I don't know what it is, but you got the yellow on there. You got some nice silver, a little bit darker of coloring on the inside. Kind of looks like a little uh, metallic silver or gold on the inside, like a yellowish gold or sort of sorts. But that looks really very good. And it's just the 13th. Nobody knows who the 13th is. So it is what it is. Now setting all these guys here. And then coming back and taking a look at the Scepter of Sparks, uh, as you can see, you have this entire gap section here. If you don't want to have any of the Prime Masters in there, this section here actually can collapse up and close that off. And that looks really cool as well. It's just a, a regular weapon a, at this point in time. I don't know really what you do with it. Uh, you come around here. This is a little bit tricky to do, uh, but on the inside here, are little rectangular sort of holes that when you look at this uh, there's four little sections that stick up a little bit higher than the rest of them and it's like it is meant to fit in there although it doesn't do it very well so I'm, i've been pushing it doesn't go in there but the uh, squareness of the actual palm and this coming up there really allows you to hold this pretty darn good uh, you do have to kind of be careful and make sure that it stays nice and tight but you can get him to hold that very very well and I, I'm, I'm quite happy with that uh, I don't necessarily think that those pegs work all that good but at least he can still hold the scepter and look pretty good doing it now these are all of the prime masters uh, that I have currently the only one that I'm missing is onyx and that'll be taken care of very shortly as soon as I get Predaking. And while it's nice to get Prima Nexus and Amalgamous, we are going to be getting those with other released figures. Uh, they're still kind of exclusives. I, I think Amazon, like, you know, Punch Counter Punch and you know, some other random things. I forgot what it is. So we are going to get those other three. Uh, but in terms of the 13th Prime, as far as you know, the only way to get that is with this set. I, I honestly can't imagine them doing all this and not giving us the 13th in some other capacity. So we'll have to wait and see. But as it stands right now, I got them and I'm very happy that I did. The unfortunate aspect of things is this version of Optimus Primal or Optimal Optimus is only available through San Diego Comic-Con. Now, for a very limited time and in very limited quantities, it will be available on Hasbro Toy Shop. So if you weren't able to go to the convention, you can get it that way. But as I said, it will be very limited stock. I talked to the folks at Hasbro and they did want to stress that, that it is limited. I don't know what that actually translates to, but that's what they told me. So if this is a figure that you'd like to get, you either had to go to Comic-Con, you have to go on eBay, or try your luck at the Hasbro toy shop. So if you are looking for them, good luck and happy hunting. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support and letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you already subscribed, now more than ever, it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. 
Another way that you can help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. Also, a huge shout out to all of my patrons who through their continued support helped to make reviews like this possible. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.